Exodus chapter 36, verse 8 through 19. And all the craftsmen among the workmen made a tabernacle with ten curtains. They were made of fine twine linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, with cherubim skillfully worked. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain of the first set. Likewise, he made them on the edge of the outermost curtain of the second set. He made fifty loops on the one curtain, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was in the second set. The loops were opposite one another. And he made fifty clasps of gold, and coupled the curtains one to the other with clasps. So the tabernacle was a single whole. He also made curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and the breadth of each curtain four cubits. The eleven curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops on the edge of the outermost curtain of the one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the other connecting curtain. And he made fifty clasps of bronze to couple the tent together, that it might be a single whole. And he made for the tent a covering of tanned ramskins and goatskins. Today's passage shows how the craftsmen that were called by God and were filled with the Spirit of God had obeyed the command of the Lord completely. The craftsmen were able to make the basin, the linen, and everything that was needed for the tabernacle exactly as the Lord had commanded. This is how we ought to live as we are called by God for His purpose. An exemplary person found in the New Testament is Paul. Paul was someone who was called by God for the specific purpose of bringing the gospel to the Gentiles. Acts chapter 9 verse 15 through 16 says, But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. Paul was faithful to the calling that God has placed in his life. Even though he had faced trials and tribulations, he had remained completely faithful before the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6 through 7 says, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Let us be faithful to the calling that God has placed in our lives, so that like the craftsmen who had completely obeyed the Lord's command, like Paul who has lived a faithful life, we too can proclaim that we have fought the good fight, we have finished the race, and we have kept the faith.